Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews, and I wanted to show you um, a little experiment that I was going on. Uh, I was trying to figure out a way to create a nice, easy drip irrigation system. Um, and so what I did was I attached this uh, three-quarter inch female hose thread to the quarter inch um, hoses. And then on the other end of the, of the hose, I have a little um, adjustable um, multi, you know, dripper. Okay. And then the, uh, three quarter inch can fit into this bottle here. So I fill the bottle up and the whole idea is to be able to fill up a two liter bottle or a half liter, bottle, you know, any, any Coke bottle, any soda bottle, and to be able to have it slow drip onto my garden. So as you can see here, nothing's coming out of the, uh, dripper because I have it completely off. I, all I have to do is uh, rotate it a little, little bit and then I can adjust how much uh, it's going to drip and it works perfectly fine. Okay so here I am about to install the uh, quarter inch uh, hose here and basically I just cut it to length. Um, what's fortunate is that for this tomato cage um, I can just use it to anchor down the uh, hose, and I'm gonna attach everything to the to the cage with uh, twist ties. That way, I can move it if I need to. I can, um, you know, disengage it, and then basically just cut off the uh, bottle and screw it in. Now I'm gonna. I learned later that I shouldn't hand tighten this. I really do need pliers to make sure that the seal is perfect, and I'm gonna show you why in a second. I also poke a hole in the side um, so that I can use the twist ties to attach the bottle to the tomato cage also. Now, as I said before, hand tightening the bottle to the three quarter inch adapter is not enough because um, as you can see, or as you will see, the water just drips through the opening. But at least the drip irrigation in theory seems to be working. Here you can see how the water is just dripping furiously. I put some tape around it to kind of help with the situation um, uh, because I didn't realize until later that I should have just used pliers. I actually went ahead and used some pliers to tighten everything down and it worked perfectly. But here it is again. Uh, of course, I can adjust from zero to here. I've adjusted it a little bit um, so more water can come out. And it's only dripping a little bit using the tape. The rubber gasket and the bottle need to be tightened. As in, this is a second one. This is a half liter bottle, as a matter of fact. Um, and I had drilled a little hole in it, but later I'm just going to cut out that way it could capture water and slowly um, feed my plants also. But here I'm putting a lot more water in to see what the water pressure will do. And voila, it works perfectly fine. I was able to use some hand pliers and tighten it really well and uh, it works as designed. Here's the entire setup system set up. I also used some stakes to make sure that it would 
be uh, pointed exactly what I need it to be pointed. Looks like the system is working fine. Absolutely no drips. And um, I was happy to find that with the adjustment that I had made, um, this water lasted for about 30 to 35 minutes in slow drip. And of course you can adjust that for more or less. And adjusting it is just this simple. clockwise for less and counterclockwise for more just like tightening or loosening a screw thank you very much for your time I hope this helps you out and uh, it's a little idea so that you can um, water your plants really easily thank you